This is the Sambuca Speaks podcast, the place where we sprinkle some flavor on what our people said recently or in times past. This is Sambuca Speaks, episode 15. You are a queen. My dear, you are a beautiful queen. Though your crown appears to be unseen, the cares of this world can overtake, but the choice to ascend is one you must make. There's royalty coursing through your veins. Your friends may doubt, but you remain a queen. Internally, you feel the burning fire. You must assume the leadership power. You stayed on the sidelines under cover, but you cannot hide the knowledge any longer. It's in your genes. You are a queen. Take up your royal scepter. Walk with your head held high. Today and always, you're a victor. Kiss those pesky doubters goodbye. Flaunt your royal robe and rings. Don't listen to your enemies hating. I'll say it now and I'll say it again. Now is the time for you to reign. Be seen, my dear queen. And that is another poem by Sambuca. Hello, hello, hello. We are at episode 15 and I am doing yet another poem from my roster. This one, again, was written in Tobago. I actually did a bunch of poems when I was trying to get on TikTok and that was the first foray into this TikTok thing. And I, I did like a poemathon where I did or I attempted to do a poem every single day. And I got a bunch of poems out. The platform, I didn't like it at the time. I'm still not a lover of TikTok, but I digress. After that poem, after those poems, I ended up doing a lot of poems and I I became really good at doing jingles. A lot of people don't realize I, I love jingles. Every time I have something that I want to input into my mind, I turn it into a jingle. So you will find out more on TikTok or even on YouTube as I really start pushing out the wealth vibes. So I'm going to break this down personally and then as women of color. The first few lines say, my dear, you are a beautiful queen, though your crown appears to be unseen. Now, my name actually means crowned. I tend to not use my given name because it is Greek and I want to pull away from the Western way of looking at life. But my, if you listen to episode one, my given name is Stephanie. So I grew up knowing that my name meant princess, queen, whatever, but I never wanted to accept that and when I would walk into places people would say you you do have that aura around you and there was this one time that this colored person said to me as I walked into a room he said you have the ability to sway a room to the negative or the positive it's a very strong power. Use it wisely. And I was like, what you talking about, Willis? But as I got older and I knew myself more, I realized what he was talking about. It is the water, the INFJ projector 
image of me. And I had to learn that even though I have this capability, it's not something that I push out there. It's something that needs to be invited. And if you do any studying into how your your behaviors are, you will figure out the, the way you work best. And if you don't study yourself, well, be, it's interesting why you found this particular podcast or YouTube video. But anyways, let's continue. The cares of this world may overtake, but the choice to ascend is one you must make. And that again points back to the self-development. If you don't realize that you have this inborn capability, you will never ascend to the level that the Most High created you to ascend to. And I'm now at that point where I am ready and willing to ascend. If you don't ascend, other people will take the giftings that you were given and it'll be given over to them. That's, that's all there is to it. They will take your gifting and you will sit there on the sidelines going, why don't I know what I'm supposed to do? At some point in time, we need to ascend. There's royalty coursing through your veins. Your friends may doubt, but you remain a queen. Again, I knew that I had that name. I knew that I was given specific gifts that nobody in my family was given, but I was always pushed down mentally. And it also could be because people could sense what you have, who you are. Remember that jealousy is a very real thing. So if you are given these gifts and people sense that you have all these gifts, they don't want necessarily for you to rise. Jealousy is a real thing. So then you come to this part where internally you feel the burning fire. You must assume the leadership power. But I don't want to be no leader. I do not want to be a leader. I am what I would call a reluctant leader. I know that the Most High has put leadership in me, but it's not for like, it's not for big groups or anything like that. It is for giving wisdom. And it's not something that I just openly go and bleh. It's something that people have to be invited or they have to invite me to want me to give them the wisdom. I will post on social media and then people can absorb my wisdom. But I don't go around anymore giving people advice because it's not well received. Kings don't go around just the you come for a court. You come for for uh, a meeting with the king or the queen. So if the Most High has called you to a, a high position, you need to be cognizant of the fact that people have to come to you. And it's a hard thing for me to absorb the fact that people have to come to me. You stayed under the sideline. You stayed on the sidelines undercover. But you cannot hide your knowledge any longer. I have been literally coming up with sayings and quotes and all that for years, years and years and years. And it is now the time for me to put those quotes and those poems and all those things out into the mainstream so that the most high, the most high can use what I have what he has put in me. I, you can't just continue to sit on the sidelines and help nobody. You will become very poor. And I know that because during the time the Most High had me 
going deep, I wasn't making a lot of money. But now is the time for me to rise to the occasion that he has me on this earth for. It's in your genes, you are queen. You're a queen. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to myself, but I don't know who else I'm speaking to. There's somebody out there who will see or hear this. And you know that there's this difference in you that the Most High put in you. You are a queen. So take up your royal scepter. Walk with your head held high. Even while you're at the beginning stages, because that's where I am right now. I am doing wealth vibes. I am doing all those different things to get me out there. But I'm at the beginning. But the one thing I do is walk with my head held high. I did the years of looking down at my feet. I did all of that. But that's not the time anymore. The time now is to walk with my head held high. Today and always, you're a victor. Kiss those pesky doubters goodbye. I have lots of doubters. I'm my biggest fan. I am my biggest fan. I am the one who does the hurrahing because sometimes the Most High will alienate you because the people who are around you are not to ascend with you. They won't ascend with you. They will actually be the ones helping push you down. So, Today and always, you're a victor. Kiss those pesky doubters goodbye. Kiss them goodbye. Because you will rise and they will see. They will see what the Most High has created you for. It may not be today. It may not be today. But it will come. Flaunt your royal robe and rings. I said I I call myself not I call myself my given name is Stephanie and everywhere I go I use the crown to remind me even though I don't necessarily use it as my name in this day and age because I've come into my Africanness and I've embraced the name Sambuka I always keep that crown to remind me of where I came from and who I am and whose I am. Yes? Flaunt your royal robe and rings. Don't listen to your enemies hating. You'll have haters. You'll have haters. I went into some of my pit sessions because of the haters and the haters were people I knew you will have haters trust and believe if you are doing something different if you're doing something wonderful if you're doing something beautiful if you're benefiting even one person you'll have haters and they love to be behind a computer screen so that you don't know who they actually are. Yes? (laughs) They love to be behind a computer screen. They will say things that they wouldn't say if they met you face to face because the computer screen gives them courage. You will have haters. You will have those trolls. I'll say it now and I'll say it again. Now is the time for you to reign. It's your time. The time has come for you to ascend. The time has come for you to rise to the occasion that you were created on this earth for. The time is is coming to a close. Babylon is starting to fall. It's time for you to do what the Most High has put you on this earth for. It's time for you to reign. Be seen my queen. And I'm speaking to myself as well. 
It's time for me to be seen. It's time for me to come out of my pit session. So you'll be seeing more of my poetry. Last week was my first session. This is my second poem. And I'm going to be doing my ditties, quote unquote, on TikTok and then pushing them over to YouTube. I'm not sure about Instagram. Instagram is, is, I don't know. I'm keeping my own pace on TikTok. Instagram I found so stressful. Everything had to be so perfect. I, I, I'm I not up for that level right now, but I'm, I'm being seen. I'm being the person that the Most High created me for. There's more coming because there's songs as well. I've already gotten one of my books out. I have a whole bunch coming this year. It's time to be seen. What have you been sitting on? What have you been pondering? What have you been wondering? Oh, is this really worth it? Or will anybody want this? Will anybody like this? You don't know until you put it out there. And the first thing may not be the best, but as you continue to write or as you continue to sing, as you continue to do your ditties or whatever it is, you will see that you get better and better. You are a queen. It's time for you to be seen. Holla! That was episode 15. A wrap for episode 15. Thank you so much for tuning in or watching, if you're watching on YouTube. And again, I want you to realize that I am coming out as well. Not, not the crazy Babylon coming out. I am being seen as well. So you will start seeing things that I have created. For this particular You Are a Queen, I created a planner. You'll see that right there. And that planner looks royal. It has no dates. It has been on the Mambo Mama site, mambomama.info, from like October. But because I'm being seen, I am starting to be seen. I am learning this whole thing, this visibility thing. It's available. It's on coffee forward slash Sambuca. And it's also on the Mambo Mama website. Go and check it out. If you like digital planners, it is perfect. It, it works with good notes. It works with any digital program. And the months are like you just push the month and it, you get jumped to September, you jump to May. The months are linked. It took some time for me to get that done, but it's done and it's beautiful. And I hope you check it out. Again, you can check out the Mambo Mama channel on YouTube, mambomama.info coffee forward slash sambuca and you'll find all the different things that I have put out especially my wealth vibes my wealth vibes I really really love that specific product that I created so until next time this is sambuca sprinkle your deliciousness throughout your day be infectious to all who come your way remember the color bye bye